In my previous video, I mentioned that uh, to date, the, li the latest statistics indicate that uh, the diaspora remittances are, uh, have now reached 250 billion shillings, 2.5 billion dollars equivalent. And uh, there are two destinations for these uh, remittances. Number one is family support, which we addressed in the previous video. And the second destination for this capital is uh, investments back at home. And we were just asking ourselves why why are people why do people invest back back at home? And we came uh, down to one reason. Everybody in the diaspora at some point they do foresee themselves coming back home. So in this video, I will be discussing how to prepare yourself to return back home. My name is Pias Moshiri Mugo, the managing director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. What triggers people to come back at home? Number one, there are vast opportunities in Africa and uh, everybody uh, globally, uh, investors, they are coming, uh, they're channeling their money to Africa because opportunities here are much more than the capital that we have uh, compared to Western countries. So vast opportunities in the continent. Number two is uh, sometimes your papers just expire and uh, people have to have to come back home. Number three, they say uh, east or west, home is always the best and uh, people want to come back home closer to their families and their friends. Uh, the fourth reason why people come back at home is uh, because the operating environment has changed uh, and I mean here eco the economic environment. I remember in 2008 uh, there was a, a whole entourage of people coming back from abroad to, 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 their, to their homes in Africa because they were being laid off uh, during the height of the financial crisis. So that's another reason. The final reason why people come back at home is uh, the change in the political environment. The immigration policies change uh, and uh, it is uh, much more difficult to hold on to the job that you have today uh, than, in, than, than previously. We've had all manner of uh, uh, challenges, for example, uh, xenophobia uh, and, 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 and globally there is a theme where uh, the locals are feeling that their jobs are being taken by foreigners and therefore that is putting pressure for people living in the diaspora to come back at home. So when people come back at home, what do they really find? And number one, they really find it very difficult to fit in. Uh, where else, where you, when you're abroad, you're considered a foreigner. You come back here, your children speak in a different accent. They cannot speak the local language. You've also, uh, you know, you've lost the, the lingo of, uh, of the locals. And you are also, again, considered to be foreign, so, foreigner. So you really struggle to fit in. Uh, the second challenge that you pe people do encounter when they come back, back, back home is uh, uh, just the cost of living. Uh, you suddenly realize that, uh, you know, you go to the supermarket <clears throat> and you start feeling the strain on your wallet. It's, 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 it's the, the inflation has been rising over time. Uh, the third challenge that uh, you find people uh, experience when they come back at home is uh, getting a job. Uh, you find yourself, it's taking a long time uh, despite your qualifications to get the job that you were initially de desiring. Uh, for those people who choose to uh, pursue business, then also they come uh, face to face with the harsh realities on the ground of setting up a business. It takes a long time to, to, set, to, to set up business. Uh, business is done differently here compared to, 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 to abroad. Uh, there are all manner of, manner of nuances that uh, make it very difficult to set up a business uh, back, back at home. So those are the challenges and uh, you can imagine you probably have a family uh, and you want to quickly settle down uh, and, and, and that presents, pre presents a challenge. So how do you then se set yourself up to returning back at home? And the solution that uh, we, we see is that while you're still abroad and you're still earning your decent income, it is highly recommended that you start building what you call an income portfolio back at home. So if you earn, let's say, $100,000 a year, and then you need to start asking yourself a question, how can I earn $100,000 equivalent 
in back at home, whether it, if you are a Kenyan, back at home in Kenya. So um, we, 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 we highly recommend that you work with a, with a wealth manager to set up a portfolio that will be managed uh, back at home by the wealth manager and that over time uh, the income will build up uh, to, the tag, to your target, uh, be it $100,000 or, or a different number. So as you can see, it, um, people come back at home sometimes voluntarily and other times involuntarily. So we highly recommend that you start uh, building your income portfolio. And the starting point is first of all, to find a local fund manager or a local money manager uh, that you is suitable, do your own due diligence to, to narrow down to one. Nabu Capital is one of them and you're welcome to speak to us. The second thing that you do is you'll agree on uh, targets uh, that uh, will help you to be able to give your family a lifestyle that is almost equivalent to what they are able, they are experiencing while they are still abroad. The third thing is you start funding your <clears throat> your, your 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 portfolio to build it up so that it is able to generate sufficient income to support uh, your lifestyle uh, while you when you come here. And if, and finally, you please uh, keep in touch with your local fund manager or wealth manager. Uh, to be able to see the progress of your portfolio and how close you are to achieving your target. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has <coughs> uh, inspired you to start building an income portfolio in preparation for your returning back home. Um, in the next video, I will continue to explore other portfolios that I think are necessary for anybody who is living in the diaspora. Um, if you want to engage us uh, in the meantime, please feel free to call us on the number that is on the screen, on the, uh, write to us on the email address that is also on the screen, engage us on the various social media platforms that are also on the screen, or come to our offices whenever you are, you are in Nairobi, and we'll be happy to engage with you and explore uh, many other kinds of uh, investment options that are relevant to you. My name is Paz Mushirimugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. Music